Well, now we all want a good sounding system. So if we want a system that sounds properly, clearly, and without problems, the first step, and it is very, very important, is to use the microphone properly. So what are the good practices with the microphone? This is extremely important to have a better sounding system. So the first uh, one would be to hold the microphone properly. There we have this very popular way of holding the microphone, which is wrong. You shouldn't do this because you can create feedback, like the image on the right. You can create feedback, you will have a worse sound. And so the right way to hold it, it's like the image on the left. So that's the proper way you avoid feedbacks. It helps the microphone to capture the sound in a so much better way. Another recommendation would be to speak as close as possible to the microphone. Now we are talking here about live sound situations. In a recording studio, the story may be different, but in live sound applications, you need to speak as close as possible to the microphone. So you reduce the risk of feedback. Now, if you are going to shout to the microphone, you have to move the mic away a few inches. So you do not create distortion as we saw before. Another good recommendation would be do not hit the microphone, you know, the slapping the microphone, uh, don't do that. Do not blow on the microphone. That's not a good way to test a microphone. If, if you want to test the system, you speak with the microphone. Maybe you say, you know, check, testing, I don't know, <laughs> whatever you want, but do not blow on the microphone. Another important recommendation, do not pull the cable. You may break it, you may break the soldering, and then you can have connection problems, and that can create even worse problems. So be careful with that. So if you follow this uh, very general and simple recommendations, you are taking the first step into a good sounding system.